gathered around an emotional family just after a man was shot and killed by Freeport police. Our Andrew Horansky is live in Freeport with what he's learned in the case. Andrew? Lisa, it has been an intense afternoon here after a shooting which has caused a great deal of anger. We can show you some video shot just a few minutes ago of community advocate Quan LX with the mother of the man who was shot here at these apartments. They are now with dozens of protesters at the Freeport Police Department trying to sort this all out. At the Freeport Apartments on Yupon, police processed a shooting scene while managing a crowd. Around 11.30 this morning, they responded to a call for help that came from a cell phone and from a person who claimed the door to an apartment was bashed in and that a burglary was in progress. Though police say they recovered a gun, what happened before they entered and after isn't exactly clear. What we do know is that a 31-year-old man identified by relatives as Ronald Sneed Jr. is dead. And to those who loved him, his death is senseless. But these cops just going around shooting people because of hoodies and mistaken identity and because they're scared. That's not right, man. You do your job. You're supposed to be for the people. Justice, protect, and serve. Sneed's sister tells us her brother had every right to be inside because the apartment belonged to his girlfriend. She said he stayed there nearly every night and even kept an eye on her young children. Neighbors suspect some may have even been inside at the time of the shooting. And we are now learning that three children ran out of the apartment. Taking a live look now at the Freeport Police Department, you can see Quan L. X addr addressing those protesters. Police there have interviewed Sneed's girlfriend. The story she is telling them, we're told, is that police saved her life. They say that this man was shot in the bedroom by a 29-year-old two-year veteran of the force after Sneed appeared to be aiming a gun at his girlfriend, Quan L. X. Now telling that crowd there to calm down that he actually agrees that the actions of the department were correct. Again, though, of course, this has been an emotional subject all across the country and here at home. We will have much more on these developments coming up on our news at 6, including details on that officer who was here this afternoon with his partner and who pulled the trigger. For now, reporting live in Freeport, I'm Andrew Horansky, KHOU 11 News.